wife and I flew home from Seattle. I think y'all know this last week, a couple of days ago, after our Alaskan adventure. And what was really amazing, but uh, is how couples travel together, even after 30 years. I didn't get my flight to Seattle until two days before we left. So I had to buy her flight ahead of time. So we did not fly together to Seattle. And what you won't believe is she was unhappy about not flying with me. She was like, oh, we should be together. And that's lovely because for the flight home, I bought our flights together where I learned that uh, she wanted to fly with me, but can't stand anything I do while traveling. <laughs> <laughs> I have learned, I have learned after 20 plus years of flying all over the world that I do not go through security correctly. I had no idea that after 20 years, I'm totally screwing that up. Also, the way I board planes after decades, I found out is embarrassing. Did you know that? It's embarrassing to watch me board planes. Did you know I was the laughing stock of the plane as far as I've now learned? Uh, does that long, does that belong in the overhead bin? I've learned. It does not, whatever it is. I breathe entirely too loud and too much on the plane. That is what I've learned. Uh, we have the classic can't fly without them and can't let one small annoyance go by without letting me know. I think that is what we've learned on these flights. So, uh, at this point, I think that my wife actually contacted the cruise line and told them to delay booking my first flight. So watch, uh, take a flight with Mr. Bean. <laughs> uh, so now uh, I get a chance uh, next week as we fly to uh, Edinburgh to see what a uh, man who can't eat pasta right looks like. So let's see. Okay. So here.